Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of eyeshadow tutorials that suit my hooded eye boys and girls, like this one, which we are working on today. Very cranberry, glittery, fun, wearable, and achievable look. I promise if you are new to makeup, I do not do a lot of steps when it comes to my makeup because I have hooded eyes and I personally just don't think my eyes can take the heaviness. So it's simple, it's easy, it's achievable, and it's wearable. And you could even tone it down if you wanted to and get rid of the glitter completely. So today we are using the James Charles Morphe palette and we are using a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow to achieve the glitter. These are my favorite favorite shadows when it comes to like glitter and shimmer and anything to kind of take a look up a notch. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. So I've already primed my lid area. I just take the same concealer and kind of take a little bit up on my eye area to cancel out any discoloration. So for me, that's the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And then I set it with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. You can use whatever concealer and whatever powder you have. You don't need to use these products. This is just what works for my super creasy, finicky eyes. So we're gonna go in with the James Charles palette today. You don't have to use the James Charles palette for this either. There's just a lot of shades to choose from and it's a very pigmented palette. And I figured since it was just Christmas, a lot of you probably have this. Some of you may have asked for it for Christmas and I think he did just restock. So I thought I'd use something that a lot of you have, but you could totally use the Emily The Wants palette. There's lots of shades in that. Modern Renaissance, there's a lot of Wet n Wild palettes that have this kind of, which way here, this uh, color scheme. It's not a very rare color scheme basically. So. I just wanted to remind you guys, shop your stash before having to go out and buy what somebody is talking about. So we are using the James Charles palette today and we are going to start with this shade right here, which is Sister. And I'm gonna take that on a wet and wild brush, just a fluffy brush from their Walgreens collection. I like that this is domed and it kind of places the color perfectly for my eye shape. And we're gonna go right into our orbital bone area. So. Since I have hooded eyes, if I was to apply this in my crease area, it would be way down here. And when I opened my eyes and wasn't holding my eyebrows up, you wouldn't really see it. So a good trick is to apply it where your orbital bone area is. And you can find that by just lightly pressing on your lid and where it starts to kind of sink back, that's where your orbital bone area is. And that will just allow for you to look like you have a lot more lid space, if that makes sense. So taking Sister very lightly, we're gonna go ahead and start to apply in that area. I am holding my compact down low, so I have full access to my eyelid space as well. And I'm going very lightly with this. We're gonna build slowly. And I always try to dip once again. So I'll dip and then I'll apply like I just did. And then once I get to kind of the center area, I'll dip again because I go really lightly and I want a little more pigment there. And then I ease up as I go in the inner corner. And I like to take this right to where my nose starts to contour. And you'll also notice that I'm holding my brush at the very end the closer you apply to the brush head, the more pressure. So I'm holding it right at the end so it's a very light application and that'll just help with blending. And then I'm just gonna take a clean Smith 232 and just lightly buff out the edges. All right, so grabbing a Smith 247, which is just a little more pointed than the Wet n Wild shade, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back into Sister to start, and I'm going to bring the shadow down to the lid in a like V, so my outer V area. And you could see I'm holding not at the tip anymore. I'm kind of holding a little bit further and you could see how much heavier the application is. And then I'll just kind of bring that a little bit lower now and a little heavier. 
in the crease. All right, and then I'm going to go into Boutique, which is just basically a darker version of the shade we are just using. And I'm going to use that same Smith brush, the Smith 247, lightly, very lightly. And I'm just gonna deepen that outer corner a touch. And once I have most of the color off, I'll start to bring it in that crease area again. I'm kind of patting, that's the beauty of this brush. It's flat, but it's also a blending brush. You can pat, you can blend. This is one of my favorite Smith brushes. So you can see we're just slowly bringing up the dimension and building up the color. I would much prefer to use layers than go in super heavy handed. And that also really helps with any kind of fallout when you're working with really pigmented shades. And then again, blending with the Smith 232. Another point, and I need to remind myself to do this when I'm filming videos, when you're blending, you don't wanna blend, like if you're trying to blend out a shade so it like diffuses up, you don't wanna blend with your brush like parallel to your face, you wanna hold it out so you can just target what you want to target. Otherwise, you're going to move all the colors around and basically erase all your work. All right, so I'm happy with that for now. So we're going to go in with the next shade, which is Shook, and that is right here. Now, this shade wasn't as pigmented as I want it to be for this look, so I am gonna go in on top of that with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in sequin, which looks like this. Mm -hmm. I love these. I need. To, I have like, I think 12 of them in my ColourPop cu cart right now because they're like $3 instead of six, which is awesome. And they work so well for my hooded eyes. I need to remind myself to order those. But starting with Shook, I'm gonna just use my finger to get the most pigmentation and I'm basically going to just go all over the lid area. I, I thought that I had fallout on my face for a second. I'm pretty sure that this is like a shadow topper, like the purple shade because of the lack of pigment. But it's nonetheless stunning. And then I'm just going to kind of take a brush in the areas I can't get to with my chubby fingers. And you could totally stop at this point if you wanted to and not even go in with the ColourPop, but I want to. So I'm going to just dust off that fallout and then again with my finger going in with that ColourPop shade now. And this just kind of elevates it and... Adds nice glitter. Like I said in my last video, glitter is not my favorite. I much prefer shimmer, but these shadows are the best, I think, for glitter. You could even lay down a glitter glue if you wanted to. I love it, so pretty. And you could see because we added the deeper shades in the outer corner, you already have like that dimension. And because we're working with a glitter right now, I don't like to go in and blend too much because then I get glitter fallout all over my face. But I am gonna take my Smith brush once again, the 247, once again in Boutique, and just gonna tap a little bit to add that dimension back in like I have on this side. Gotta kind of just commit though when you've got glitter. You know, you're gonna get some glitter on your face. I think I just realized I've been calling that first shade we went in with, this one right here. I think I may have been calling that sister and it's called Mary. I don't know why I was doing that. I'll put a card up if I was, but sorry about that. That would happen to me. Oy. All right, and to finish things off, we're gonna go ahead and take Ring Light, which is this shade right here, and throw that on the inner corner and a little bit on the brow bone as well. I'm just gonna take this on a MAC 219 so I can get nice and precise. 
I do already have a little highlight in there from my highlighter on my face as well, so. That's a stunning highlight shade. Stunning. So let's go ahead and repeat the process on the lower lash line. So I'm going to start with Mary and I'm going to hold my compact up this time so I have access to my lower lid and I'm going to keep that pretty tight to the lash line. I've been like playing with makeup a little more lately and doing different things and I have been liking not smoking my shadow out too much. Now I still like it to be smoky but not like you know, down to where my creases are. You know what I mean? I think I was kind of trying to compensate for the creases under my eyes that are just there. I've got fine lines under my eyes and that's just what it is. I think I was trying to compensate for that by blending really far, but it just brought my eyes down and made, because I have a heavy hood, it made my eyes look heavier. So I'm going to try to continue with this because I think it's a little more flattering. I'm taking that all the way in. Sorry if my camera's focusing on the compact, it always does that. This is my Smith 220 brush, which is like a big flat painter brush. I love this brush and I'm going to dip into my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I just want to lift this a little bit. I'm sure you guys have seen this trick before, but I'm just going to place it basically where I want to erase the shadow and this is going to kind of lift a little bit more. like that yeah that's what we're looking for so next I'm going to take a black liner and I'm gonna line my upper waterline and my lower waterline and then we're gonna go in with the black shade in the palette which is like the best black shade I think I've ever seen called spooky it's super pigmented and we're gonna blend that onto the lower lash line a bit and then we're gonna blend it like right into the lash line to give some depth there by the way, this is the Physician's Formula Black Velvet Glide On Gel Eyeliner, and I have been really, really liking this. It's super pigmented, and it stays like all day for me. So check these out, they're super affordable if you're in the market. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a very tiny brush. This is a MAC brush. It is so old, I don't know the name of it, but it's very, very tiny. Dipping into Spooky, I'm gonna get Again, holding my compact up, I'm going to get very tight to where the black liner is and I'm just going to kind of smudge it out. I just realized I had a bunch of black mascara on my contact on this eye, which is really pretty. So I just got that off and I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes at this point and I'm going to apply a couple coats of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. No lashes for this one. You totally could. It's definitely a look that would look great. But I just kind of wanted to focus on my lashes and have the glitter kind of have its own moment. So I'm going to apply this and then I will be right back here and we will show you the finished look. All right, so I threw on my mascara and I totally forgot to go in with Spooky on the upper lash line. So basically, I'm just going to get right in where the lash line is with this MAC, what are you, 208 brush, and just deepen the area so my lashes look a little thicker since I'm not going in with any kind of lash. And that is it for this one, you guys. I love how this turned out. Cranberry tones right now are my favorite. Thing. I'm so about it. Anytime I see anything like cranberry or burgundy, I'm like in love with it. So I know this isn't anything revolutionary, but it was super easy and super, super fun to come up with. And I think it can still be super wearable and super achievable if you're kind of just getting into makeup. So I hope this video is helpful to some of you. Let me know if you guys have any questions below. I'll have all my makeup details, all the rest of my makeup below. I did want to mention my lip. It's Nude Thrill from Maybelline, the Vivid Matte Liquid. This is definitely old and starting to dry out, so it looks a little funky on my lips, but the color is so pretty, and I think it complements this look so well along with the pink blush. So 
Again, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.